good evening wherever you are on this uh, most pleasant evening. There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station. And we expect every seat to be filled. An atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement. Oh, what a stage for the players to take to here ahead of such an important game. This is the perfect game for all parties, not least the neutrals who've just come to enjoy it. Well, under normal circumstances, this is a massive matchup, and I'm not totally in agreement with the view that friendlies tend to take the edge away. In my experience, if the opposition go at it full tilt, then you have to reciprocate. We'd like to see excitement and be entertained, but if it does go down the serious route, there'll still be lots to enjoy. Off we go then. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? Yeah, N'Golo Kante. He is only one midfielder, but it often feels like he does the work of two or three. He's got exceptional awareness for danger and the stamina to make sure he can go and, and snuff it out over and over again if required. He's also exceptional in the tackle. And when you watch him, in the latter parts of a game, 90th minute plus. He looks as if he's in the first five. I'm thinking the same. He will be a central feature, no doubt. Dina. Alan. Ducore. And here's Townsend. And it's Ducore. Davis. Calvert goes for goal! He's delivered all right! What a start, and what a contribution from the main man. I had a feeling he might do something, given his reputation, but to do it like that, absolutely brilliant. I wasn't expecting that. The keeper deserves some sympathy there. He may not have seen that until too late. Chelsea didn't expect this, that's for sure. What can they do now? Davis. Calvert-Lewin. Marcos Alonso. Played in with accuracy. And it's Marcos Alonso. Lukaku. And helps available out wide. Up to meet it! Oh, just needed a better contact. Well, being able to generate that amount of activity in the box means it's hard not to pick someone out. Townsend. Andros Townsend switches it towards the other side. Davis. There has been just the early goal here, and it's 1 0. Calvert Lewin pings it out wide. Good defending, albeit from an unexpected source. I think it's great to see that kind of application and desire from a forward who wants to help out his defence. I, I think, you know, any good team, really, your striker should be the first line of that defence, and, and he's delivering.
That's great strength on the ball. Loose ball, who's going to get there? And here's Lukaku. It's Lukaku! A real chance and a real let-off. Davis has created one goal already. Come on, Lewin! Oh, what a wonderful stop! Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeper. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Ducore. Oh, good take and shot a goal! In it goes! Two up now, and they are cruising. Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled. He's made it two and no doubt he's hungry for more. starting to look very comfortable that second goal is such a, a polarizing effect on prospective moods I mean one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three they didn't manage to get nearly enough into the box and that speaks of little ambition Calvert-Lewin out to the right Here's Lukaku, and he's shown him a clean pair of heels. Sayak! Well, that wasn't too dissimilar to the previous attempt. Chelsea really are in the ascendancy here, and they know they have to register while that's the case. Alan. Coming up to half-time, leading, and things are looking pretty good. Rudiger goes looking. Oh, good interception. Raspilicueta. Forward it goes. Marcos Alonso knocks it away. And it's Allen. Dinha. Well read, he sorted that out. Tries a shot! Yes! And the lead is three! It is surely done! Calvert-Lewin with the smoothest one-on-one -on -one finish. He is one very cool customer. Well, he always had the measure of the keeper there. Such confidence and composure. He snaffles his third, and that earns him the match ball. Well, he's been the outstanding player on the pitch and devastating in front of the goal. What a display. What a player. Three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. And it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Uh, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. He knew what was coming. That's a yellow card. Alan 
with the clearance. And we hit half time. And these years, one, two, three. It really has been that straightforward halfway through the match, but very little to suggest that much will change in the second half. Peter, do I really need to say anything, or can I simply refer you to the scoreline? Everton, three goals to the good after a really excellent first half that's been intriguing to watch. Plenty of highlights to show you during the break. And we are underway again. Keane. Coleman. Rudiger tries to locate someone up front. Conte. It's a loose ball. Marcos Alonso provides an outlet. Chance to break. Dinha. Davis. Keane, Coleman, and it's Townsend, Ducore, Allen, Dina, Richarlison, Davis, this is gone, that's a foul. Played out to the right. Calvert Lewin looking as though he's being given special treatment here. Treatment he could well do without. Well, he helps himself to a treble, Peter, and then they switch on. It's a bit late now. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. Yeah, well, they were exposed and, and vulnerable, and he knew he had to do something to prevent a goal then. Well, you might think he got off lightly. It is just a verbal warning. He's trying the shot. Expertly, nicely done. <laughs> so, just a consolation, or is there a way back from here? Coleman. Allen, Richarlison, has Pliqueta to play it forward, back to the keeper and go again, Keane, Townsend, Andros Townsend with the crossfield ball. Well, that's where he wants it. Uh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Yeah, I mean, he, I think he did well to, to spot the run. He just didn't get enough behind it. It happens. Inia has it in a wide position, so what next? That's a case of crossing in hope, and unless they provide some more options, it'll be more missed than hit. Away 
from immediate danger. Calvert Lewin has been found. Jorginho. It's a busy front line, uh, lots of movement. And is that working for you? Well, is that a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. It's to Kore. Into the box. It is a corner. Point blank header. He should have put that one away. He'll be fuming with himself for not converting. He could have killed it off. What can't it? Just lacked a decent finish. Mina Calvert Lewin, and that's sprayed out wide. Relief, it just needed better contact. So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. to get it forward quickly Andros Townsend plays it forward as Pliqueta drives it forward and yet another to add to football's endless list of could-haves and should-haves Chelsea just had to make the ball stick but came up short Davis Calvert-Lewin and it's Townsend it's on a plate Lukaku. Oh, well, it. And time is up. Everton always looked the more driven side, probably the better side. And nobody is arguing about the results. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? Yeah, looking back on this, the early goal had a big influence on what unfolded and allowed them to dictate with comfort. So, thank you very much, Jim, for joining me. That brings us to the end of our coverage. So from us both, a very good evening.